Hey Lars, thank you for your message. What a what a what a fascinating message. I'm gonna go ahead and read it out loud. I, I really I think you captured a a, a really nice uh, distinction, and I want to run with it a little bit. Um, hi Kurt. Uh, by the way, Lars and I go we go way back. We're friends. Uh, you know we, we, we know a lot about one about one, a lot about one another, and um, it's great sometimes. Sometimes the people who know you a little bit better can give you an insight as to things. And I think well, I think we, anybody can give insight, but it, it, sometimes it, it, it's um, it's great to get uh, constructive observations slash criticisms. You know, in the best sense of the word, from people who uh, who have a, have a, have a, a longer relationship with. Hi, Kurt. I saw that video that you did advertising the JBlog forum the other day. Uh, that's the one where I, you know, was talking on the Soft Papa channel, coming out of the bushes. He says, "Yeah, the one where you come bushwhacking out and out into the clear." I have to say that it was a pretty good version of that type of advertisement. Thank you. It was certainly my uh, the best I could come up with. Molly wrote to me and called me up and he said, "Hey, I'm finishing up beer chat. I need a I need a minute and a half commercial. What can you give me?" I said, "Oh, grab my hat." <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. And I drove up into the woods, and it turned out to be exactly yeah, going one and a half that that long, and it turned out to be exactly one and a half. Anyway, how do you feel about doing that sort of video or any other more staged videos that you started doing, like the ones from your command center? This, this is my command center, my One Piece command center. Um, at home, as a viewer, I tend to prefer the one shot outside, but they be they in the street, in the mountains, or on the coast. I hate to say that they are more authentic, in quotes he has, because that would be wrong. Perhaps the best way to put it is that they are more less mediated. There is less in the way between the viewer and the interior monologue, and less editing, the better too. Which ones do you prefer doing? What are your reasons for going indoors, which are which at first affected me like, a little like Dylan going electric affected some people? Oh, some sorry for shooting some. Sorry for some idle curiosity your way. Sorry for shooting some idle curiosity your way, but I'm thinking about these things for myself as I'm making my baby steps as a content creator on YouTube now. Really, an interesting question. Um, really, the reason I started this, this command center was for um, Google Hangouts. Um, I had the was invited to a hangout uh, sometime back, and it was turned around the other way. And I'm in my bedroom, and you can see my bed and the room, and you know people <laughs> even strange comments. And I was like, wow, this is way too personal. So I made this little command center so I could I could have everything operational, and it, it's it's functional that way. But I got to tell you, you're right. I mean, I think I mean I'm constrained. I mean I'm just you know, I'm banging you know banging in the walls and stuff like that. It, it does definitely doesn't feel right. And I've noticed something. Victor, for example, when he gets really into his blogs, he does pick up the camera, picks up his laptop. He's even dropped it before, and he walks around. I'm the same way. When I'm really, really going, I gotta be moving. I just did a um. And your message couldn't. You, your message came yesterday, but I couldn't have read it at a better time than just now. I'm actually I'm editing a, uh, a video right now. It's 88% complete done. It's editing as I do this, and this video is called um. It's called uh. What is it called? It's called uh. uh the road ahead with YouTube and Maker Studios, and it was an impromptu uh, video I made talking about my past experience with the dot com revolution and burst and bubble, you know, the bubble that happened there, and what I think is beginning to happen, and maybe something similar uh, with the uh, with the entertainment revolution that's about to occur. It may not be a bubble in the same sense, but it certainly has the hype and the ex excitement that I remember from that. Anyway, I made that video walking. You could see, if you watched the video, you could see how excited I was and energy. And that was because I was moving. It felt like a free animal, you know, galloping across the plains, you know, rather than stuck in a cage. And I think you're on to something. Nevertheless, I think I still have to stick with this because there's things that I can't do. I mean, this this video, I will finish this. I'll click, a, I literally will go over here to this next window next to it, click two or three buttons, and it'll upload to this Hikari in this um, Fritz uh, high fat super super fast internet and in just minutes it'll be uploaded and this is how I do things now to keep up I answer I read email and I answer them here on my response channel and up they go this video may go over uh, somewhere else but I'm not sure um, but anyway uh, so I'm, I'm with you I, I think that it's definitely constraining and I think that it uh, takes away some of the uh, essence of, of how I do these kind of s spontaneous vlogs so but I'm getting used to it but if I have my choice, I would rather be in the woods turning the camera on, definitely. Thanks, Lars, for asking. It's great. I see the oldie news just popped up. Well, I, mean, I guess that signals something. <laughs> when oldie shows up, something's got to happen. So I'll turn the lights off now, make it olden news spookiness, 
and say bye-bye, ta-ta. Thank you, Laura. See ya. Woo. Hey, push the button.